devices. So uh, LoRaWAN devices, why are they for a solutions provider point of view a very good choice? Um, you have different device classes, um, so you can mix class A, B and C. Uh, you can choose what your downlink capacity uh, needs to be for your end devices. Uh, but in any case, uh, they have very little power uh, consumption. Uh, and uh, you can choose the spreading factor, the data rates, the class, and things like that, and you can mix and match uh, whatever you need. Uh, and that versatility and flexibility makes LoRaWAN a really good choice um, for solution providers. And there are many LoRaWAN devices. So uh, you can go to the Things Network Marketplace. Uh, There's a, a huge catalog of LoRaWAN devices. And you can find LoRaWAN devices for just about everything. And the same goes for gateways. There are many different gateways, and there are uh, all sorts of differences between them. So the regions, the, um, the software that runs on the gateway, the remote management, uh, how many channels they have to listen on, uh, but also the uh, ruggedness and whether or not you can deploy it outdoors or not. Uh, if they have a cellular backhaul, uh, or even if they have a uh, backhaul to communicate with satellites. So these are all differences in gateways, but you can already um, purchase gateways for 50 euros, dollars, um, uh, and get started with a with a private network.